What if the key to unlimited clean energy was hidden inside a volcano? Iceland's scientists are planning to intentionally drill into a magma chamber. We were aiming to drill to 4.5 kilometers and we're absolutely not expecting to hit magma at only 2.1 kilometer depth. Tapping into a power source 10 times stronger than traditional geothermal energy. If successful, this could revolutionize renewable power, providing endless electricity without fossil fuels. But with great power comes great risk. Could this trigger a catastrophic eruption? Are we harnessing the future of energy or playing with fire? This daring experiment could change everything we know about clean energy and volcanic science. Stick around as we break down the science, the risks, and the incredible potential of Iceland's boldest energy project yet. Back in 2009, Iceland's energy company Islands Banki was working on a groundbreaking project, drilling a deep geothermal well in the Krafla volcanic caldera. Their goal? to tap into the Earth's heat by drilling nearly three miles down. But something unexpected happened. The drill kept getting stuck at the same depth over and over again. When they finally managed to free it, they discovered something shocking. Pieces of glassy, crystallized, melted rock. They had accidentally drilled straight into a volcano. Yes, a volcano. Or more technically, a magma chamber. These pockets of scorching hot molten rock usually lie much deeper underground, not something you just stumble upon by chance. The team was terrified. What if this triggered a catastrophic eruption? They quickly pumped in over a million tons of cold water to cool the well and shut the operation down entirely. But here's the twist. 15 years later, Iceland is planning to do this on purpose. Why drill into a volcano? Iceland is no stranger to geothermal energy. In fact, it's a global leader. Over 90% of Icelandic homes are heated using geothermal power, and around 70% of the country's energy comes from this renewable source. But now, scientists and engineers are taking things to the next level by harnessing the immense power of magma. The project called the Krafla Magma Test Bed, KMT, aims to drill directly into a magma chamber to tap into its superheated steam. This isn't just about generating energy, it's about unlocking a new, extreme form of geothermal power that could revolutionize how we think about renewable energy. Here's the kicker. Magma-based energy could be 10 times more powerful than traditional geothermal energy. Imagine a single well producing enough electricity to power thousands of homes, endlessly. But wait, isn't this dangerous? You might be thinking, drilling into a volcano? That sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. And you're not wrong. In theory, drilling into a magma chamber could release pressure and trigger an eruption. But here's the thing, it's already happened before. Remember that accidental drilling in 2009? The drill hit magma, but the volcano didn't erupt. Nothing spilled out. No explosions. Just a lot of melted equipment and a newfound respect for Iceland's fiery underground. Scientists believe that with the right precautions, drilling into a volcano can be done safely. And if successful, it could give us unprecedented insights into how volcanoes work helping us predict eruptions and potentially saving lives. The plan, from accident to innovation. The KMT project is set to begin drilling in 2026, with the first well expected to be completed by 2027. This will be the first time in history that sensors are implanted directly into a magma chamber, allowing scientists to study its temperature, pressure, and chemistry in real time. But that's just the beginning. By 2029, the team plans to drill a second well, this time with the goal of harnessing magma's intense heat to generate energy on a massive scale. Here's how it works. 1. 
superheated magma steam is pumped to the surface. Two, it flows through a heat exchanger, boiling water and creating steam. Three, the steam spins turbines, generating electricity. Four, cooled magma liquid is pumped back underground, creating a continuous loop of energy. It's geothermal energy on steroids, clean, renewable, and incredibly powerful. The bigger picture, could this save the planet? The world is racing to ditch fossil fuels and combat climate change. Solar and wind power are great, but they have limitations, like relying on the weather. Geothermal energy, on the other hand, is constant and reliable. And magma-based energy? It's the ultimate upgrade. If Iceland pulls this off, other countries with active volcanoes, like Kenya, Hawaii, and Japan, could follow suit. Imagine a future where we harness the Earth's core to power our homes, cities, and industries. But it's not just about energy. Drilling into a volcano could also help us better understand volcanic activity, predict eruptions, and even prevent disasters like the 2010 Ejafjallajökull Jokul eruption, which grounded flights across Europe and cost billions. The risks, living on the edge. Of course, Iceland's volcanic activity isn't without its dangers. In January 2024, a volcanic eruption on the Reykjans Peninsula sent lava flowing into the town of Grindavik, destroying homes and cutting off hot water and heating for thousands of residents. This is the price Iceland pays for living in one of the most geologically active places on Earth. But it's also what makes the country a global leader in geothermal energy. To protect its people and infrastructure, Iceland is building massive barriers around its geothermal power plants. These structures are designed to redirect lava flows and shield critical facilities from destruction. It's a race against time and nature. Beyond volcanoes, Iceland's other wonders. While volcanoes dominate the headlines, Iceland is also famous for its breathtaking natural wonders, like the Northern Lights. But even these can cause trouble. In 2015, tourists were so mesmerized by the glowing sky that they caused accidents by pulling over on the side of the road. Police even thought they were drunk until they realized the drivers were just in awe of the auroras. And then there's the annual tradition on the Westman Islands where locals throw puffin chicks off cliffs. Before you judge, know this. It's actually a life-saving act. The chicks get confused by city lights and lose their way to the ocean. By tossing them off cliffs, locals ensure they make it safely to the sea. The future, a fiery frontier. Iceland's journey from one of Europe's poorest countries to a global leader in renewable energy is nothing short of inspiring. And now, with the Krafla Magma test bed, the country is pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So, what do you think? Is drilling into a volcano a brilliant idea or a disaster waiting to happen? Could magma-based energy be the key to a sustainable future? Or are we playing with fire, literally? Don't forget to hit that like button if you're as fascinated by this as we are. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.